Naftali, Sura and Muhammad, Erfan and Chet and Benito Velo. Yeah, those are that, and they're still expecting a few more to join. All right, let me introduce myself for the last program as well. My name is Jomi, Jomi George, the academic coordinator of OET at Study Medic OET training platform. And our program is OET. That's what we are going to discuss today, the couple of hours. We are going to discuss different aspects of OET, including what is OET, who attends OET, what's the purpose of doing OET, and kind of OET preparation at Study Medic, and of course, okay, a particular preparation part as well. First of all, I have a humble request for you. So, yeah, um, the attendees, you know, if you are in such a position to turn on your camera, you may please turn on because it's an interactive session. That means there are questions and answers. Of course, camera is an added one. If possible, you may please you know, turn on your cameras, the possible people. I still uh, understand, you know, some people that can't. It's okay, no problem because you are in such a position. It's all right, no problem. Let's start OET. OET, as I told you, we are going to discuss different aspects of OET and our discussion starts with what is OET? OET, Occupational English Test. It shows it's an English language examination. An examination purely Designed for healthcare professionals when they want to check their language proficiency, English language proficiency. Occupational English test. It is medical English because it's only for healthcare professionals. Healthcare professionals English, that is medical English. So OIT assess medical English. The doctors, nurses, pharmacists, physiotherapists, dietetics. So many healthcare professionals you can say. It assesses their level of using English at work. That word is very important, using English. Healthcare professionals, they use English. Non-healthcare professionals, they also use English. So they people, they use English. Healthcare professionals, what they use, like, you know, they use medical English. OIT is for that. What is the meaning of using English? Listen carefully. That word is very important, using English. We use many different things in our life. We use our car. We use many different things in our life as a part of life. Of course, using English is a part and parcel of our life, especially healthcare professionals' life. How they use it? They use it in four different ways. I'm talking to you, that means I'm using English. You guys are listening to me, that means you guys are also using English. And how I use English, I speak English. That means one of the ways we can use English is speaking English. In OIT, speaking medical English. You guys are listening to me, that means you are listening to English. That means the other way, we can use English as listening. If I write something over here, this marble, if I write something over there, I'm using English. That means I am writing, writing English. The same, the same thing if you read it, that means you are reading English. That means you are using English. So we use English in four different ways. Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Listening and speaking. They help each other. Listening is the reason why there is speaking. That means listeners are the one creating speakers. Or speakers are the one creating listeners. If there is no listener, then there is no need to speak anything because I speak. Because for example, there are uh, many attendees today. If you all are I don't want to talk because I have no listeners. So listeners making speakers, at the same time, speakers making listeners. Readers and writers, if there is no reader, there is no need to write anything. That means writers and readers, okay, they help each other. They make themselves the reason for their opponent. 
So that means reading and writing, listening and speaking. So those are the four different ways one can use English. Those are the four different ways a healthcare professional can use English at work. Hope so far so clear. Medical English means listening to medical English, reading medical English, writing medical English, and speaking medical English. Okay, that is what medical English, the way we use using English as medical English. It's not a separate one. The same English, the same grammatical formula, the same grammatical accuracy, everything we need. But English is being used in a different way at healthcare sector. That particular way is known as medical English. For example, the healthcare professionals, when they talk, you know, okay, their, their sentences, their words, sentences, paragraphs, everything covered with a particular flavor, and that flavor is sympathy. As a teacher, when I talk, as a trainer, when I use English, you can't find every time there is a flavor of sympathy. There is a flavor of many other emotions. Sometimes I command, sometimes I, uh, uh, I, know, I advise, sometimes I add some other flavors. But medical professionals, they always add the flavor of sympathy and empathy when they talk, when they use English especially writing and speaking. That is what we call medical English. Don't get confused. When we are repeatedly using the word medical English, it's not a separate one. It's same, English, but the flavor is something different. And that difference is much needed for a healthcare professional, okay, when they use English at work, not just English, any language. That is medical English. OET examination assessing that. How effectively you are, the flavor of that when you use English at work. That is what we call medical English. OET examination assessing that. Occupational English test. So what is occupational English test? It's a test assessing the proficiency of healthcare professionals when they use medical English at work. That is, a, that is the exam. And the format of the examination is listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Because we already discussed four different ways we use English. We listen, we read, we write, we speak. That means medical English. How effectively you listening to that? Reading that, writing that, and speaking that particular thing. That is what we call medical English. Okay, OET exam format. There are four papers. So when you go for attending the examination, you have to undergo, you have to set four different papers. The first one is listening, reading, writing, and final one is speaking. It will health care professionals including doctors, nurses, pharmacists, physiotherapists, and many more. It's only for them, it's not for doctors, it's not for engineers, it's not for teachers, it's not for bankers, it's not for agrarians, it's not for anyone else other than healthcare professionals. It's only for them because medical English is being tested. An agrarian can perform, that can perform maximum when they use English, the form of medical English, because they haven't got the flavor of medical English structure because they are not medical professionals, they are agrarians. Medical English. It's for only for care professionals. Why they attend to OET? Healthcare professionals, they attend to OET. Why? What's the reason? Is it just for developing their medical English skill? Absolutely not. Is it for any kind of uh, PR application, permanent residency application? Absolutely not. It's mainly for, it's mainly for applying for healthcare registration. You, a doctor, a continent doctor, a preliminary a medical qualification. Okay. 
has completed almost three years of medical career in India or Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, subcontinent region. He has a plan, not just in subcontinent region, in European region as well. Scandinavian countries, Balkan countries. Doctor has a plan to immigrate to UK, to Ireland, to Australia, to New Zealand, to Canada, to America. That helps not the doctors, the healthcare professional. He or she has a plan to immigrate to those countries. And those countries are English speaking countries. They're immigrating to that country, not just for living, not just for visiting, not just for spending time. They are immigrating to that particular country mainly for continue their medical career or start their medical career over there. So when they want to continue or start their medical career, of course, they have to go for registration, healthcare registration, UK, doctors, GMC registration, UK, not registration, UK, then the GDC registration. There are registrations. Healthcare professionals are not, not allowed to practice their medical skills until they read their registration. So registration, the doctors, they need to go for registration. Registration for registration requirements are plenty. You know, the requirements, their educational qualification, their experience, sometimes their age. Along with all requirements, there is one mandatory requirement is that that requirement is English fluency. They are going to speaking country. If you remember a doctor applying for planning for PLAB, for their GH registration, appear plan one to whatever. So they have to submit that. They have to submit English language test report form, which is all trials. So this is not for PR application, mainly for registration purpose. Along with okay, when the, when you do OET, definitely you will have lot of improvements in, in terms of using medical English. You, you learn, you practice, you shower, so kind of medical English, you practice at work. So many different uh, uh, add ons are here. Right. So, three questions can be answered for we got an overall idea. The first question what is OET? OET is an examination as a saying. Your level of your level means professionals level using English at work. Using English, reading, writing, and speaking. For whom it is, it is only for medical professionals. Why they attend it? They attend this one for their registrations, may English speaking. So far, so clear. Now, seven screen, just go to that. All right, just go to that one. Okay, we have already discussed all those things. Study OET and study medic. OET, occupational English test. You know, what is OET? We all answer that. So why OET for registration? OET test format, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. OET for registration, we are going to discuss those, those scenario, expert tips at the final part of this conversation. English so, test, healthcare professional, council, board, registration. Council about registration, healthcare professional means dentistry, pharmacy, physiotherapy, medicine, pediatry, nursing, optometry, dynamics, occupational therapy, radiography, speech pathology, and vets. Those are the healthcare professionals currently practice OET when they go for English speaking countries registration. Of course, there are some other healthcare professionals around also there, but they are not into this bucket. It's so mainly for council board registration. The examples are GMC, AMC, HPR, NMC. Those are the councils from various English speaking countries, including UK, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, Canada. Okay, those are the main English speaking countries. So, why? What is the reason? 
designed to assess the level the english language ability of medical professionals who intended to study or work okay where english is uh, is the language of communication intended to study or work work registration study some healthcare universities in those countries some healthcare university for example uk city university some healthcare universities allow healthcare professionals when they want to when they want to continue their studies when they go for any kind of sandwich courses in healthcare of course they can submit oet as a language uh, uh, english language proficiency a report but it's it's minimal it's mainly for work that means registration test format we already discussed the first one is listening listen carefully listening we we listen a lot you are you are listening to me you guys are listening to me now plenty what is the reason why you are listening to me because because you are expecting okay you are listening to me because you believe that i can give you some information that's the reason why you are listening to me and you are expecting kind of information regarding your own oet that's why you are listening to me at work as a doctor many uh, doctor as a doctor you are listening to many who you listen to at work every day as a doctor you listen to your patients you listen to your colleagues including okay uh, nurses or all the all the medical professionals so at work as a healthcare professional okay you listen to mainly patients and colleagues as a part of treatment so i to assess your level of listening to them to assess your level of listening what they do they construct they structure certain conversations and those conversations are medical conversations what do you mean by medical conversation medical conversation means in a conversation the characters are medical professionals the setting is a medical setting and the topic is a medical topic for example this morning i went to hospital with my care because my kid has has uh, kid got some kind of breathing difficulty so morning i took him to the hospital so the setting is what hospital characters patient that means service user of a healthcare professional and a healthcare professional that doctor and the topic is the condition of my baby breathing difficulty this is what we call medical conversation medical conversation everything is medical so listening or in the listening test the attendees are given medical conversations to listen okay in a, in a hall like you know the attendees they just sat and they start listening to medical conversation at the same time they are given a, a bundle of or other a booklet in that booklet there are a lot of questions almost 42 questions are there fill in the blanks multiple choice that kind of questions there and what do you need to do they need to answer the questions from the listening from the conversation that means in the conversation there are answers of this question this questions so they need to pick it in the format of answering listen first then answer no listening and answering same time that means you need to answer the questions as you listen so you have to practice how to answer the given question as you listen there is no break no rewinding there are no forwarding no pause nothing all the recordings are played once only stadmatic we have a perfectly designed listening practice including lot of activities that will help you to increase your chances of getting maximum number of answers in listening when you are given a challenge that answer the questions as you listen that is listening listening followed up by reading reading is comprehension what do you mean by comprehension comprehension means understanding they will normally define comprehension in a very complex and complicated manner actually comprehension means understanding it's a comprehension means understanding comprehension you are given a topic to read an article or abstract or a text you need to read that 
Then there are questions. You know that in our school list, we did a lot as a part of language examinations. Then we need to find out the answers. In OET, the topics are medical topics. That means medical text, medical extract, and medical articles you need to read. Then some questions are there. You need to find out the answers from the given topic. Medical, everything is medical. <coughs> so, so this is what we call reading. So you need to read abstracts, text, and articles, find out the answers under timed condition. Everyone can read and understand. Everyone can read and understand. Everyone can do comprehension. But very few people can do comprehension under timed condition. That is reading. You take 12 hours to read an article and understanding the meaning of that, that's not reading. Okay, reading means how, how fast you are in terms of getting the meaning of the given sentences, paragraphs. So speed is important. So reading, Shalman, we have a very well-designed program, reading, speed reading program, which enables all the healthcare professionals to increase the pace of their reading and understanding when they're given medical articles, abstracts and texts to read. The third one, sorry, sorry, any, any confusion there? Manira, Sarda, any confusion? No, 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 sir. It's all right, right, fine, thank you. The third module is writing. As a healthcare professional, as a doctor, as a nurse, what do you write at work? Of course, you write a lot of things. You write care plans. You write a lot of things, a lot of instructions, a lot of, lot of things you write. But mainly you write letters. As a doctor, you write letters. It could be a, diff, a discharge letter, transfer letter, um, what we got, referral letter. So OED examination, assessing your level of writing, different forms of letters at work, letter writing, easiest to task in OET examination. Because it's a, it's a part and parcel of your daily activity. As a doctor, you do writing a lot every day. It's not possible to say you do reading a lot every day. You, you do read a, but not a lot every day, but you can't, you can't finish a shift without writing much, this kind of letters. It's a part and parcel of your activity. So letter writing, 45 minutes exam. You are given a case note. Case note means the story of a patient. Case note includes, includes sorry. Case note includes different backgrounds of a patient. The first back, the background backgrounds means the, the, the story, you can say in a case, not the storyline of a patient. It starts with the personal background, prologued by pers the social background, medical background, admission details, management, progress, discharge plan. We will discuss all those things you know, when we start the program. When we start the writing program, we already started. We start the writing program, writing for OET. So writing. And the final one, the most impressive, effective, glamorous one in all the examination, which is speaking. It's entirely different from all the other kinds of English language examinations, speaking module. For example, IELTS, International English Language Testing System. It's, an, uh, it's a language test. It's, it's an English language test. Most of the universities accept that. Most of the professionals accept healthcare professionals attending IELTS, widely accepted, globally accepted. So in that examination that is speaking mode, it's some sort of interview. For example, if I am the examiner, uh, I will ask you some questions. What's your name? Where do you come from? How long have you been living there? Do you enjoy music? Did you like music in, the, in your childhood days when we started enjoying music first? Very simple, normal, general questions. They ask you. So that means one person asking and the other person answering questions. If I am the examiner, I just ask questions. If you are the attendee, that means the student or otherwise the uh, uh, interviewee. So you just need to answer my questions. So one, okay, so it's one way. But OET examination is the fact. OET examination is not constructed the form of an interview. OIT examination is constructed in a different way. And that particular different way is for role play. What do you mean by role play? That means, you know, we play a role. For example, you are going to attend 
OED, uh, medicine, that means doctors. So speaking time, you be there as a doctor. So what makes you, or what, what you know, when you become a doctor, it's not completing your MBBS or MD. No, actually it's not possible to say that. So when, when you become a doctor, when you make yourself as a doctor, very simple answer, when there is a patient. Okay, when there's a patient for me, that time you become a doctor. Otherwise, academically, you are a doctor, but practically you are not a doctor. What makes you, okay, what, you know, you know, football players, when they play, the playground, there is an opponent. Same thing, doctors. So patient. So when a doctor play the role of a doctor, when there is a patient. In that role play, then you can find two characters. The first character is a doctor. The second character is a patient. Examination, your character is, you just be there as a doctor and your examiner, okay, plays the role of a patient. If I am the examiner, I just act, I am a patient with some you know, physical or emotional uh, inabilities and all, or disabilities and all. So that means it's not like an interview. As a doctor, you have some questions to your patient. At the same time, as a patient, I have some questions to you. So exchange of questions, of course, exchange of answers. So this is what we do in role playing. They do a lot of uh, activities. It's a part of our training program. That's uh, that's far far like you know better. That's enough to take you to the 450 500 level in OET speaking. So listening, reading, writing, and speaking, it's a format overall view. The detail one, we will, we will go with the core lessons in our training program. We can see the core lessons and all. This, you know, in, in the session, I will introduce you. Hello. Is there any problem, like, you know, any, any, any kind of interactions over there? Please mute your microphone. Please mute your microphone. And some kind of noise disturbances over there at your, at your place where you you belong to a television. Please mute. I don't understand. No, mute, mute, mute. Maybe this one. Okay, fine. All right. These are the main things about OET. Let's see some more slides. Test format, listening, conversations, questions, answer that. Reading, text, abstracts, and te uh, articles. Writing, referral, discharge, or transfer letter. Speaking, role play, done. Now, the marking criteria. When we attend this examination, we need to try and reach a level, and that level must be submitted, okay, at the different organization, different councils of boards, when you apply for their registration. The marking pattern. It starts from E, the maximum A. 0 to 90, if your score is E. 100 to 190, D. 200 to 290, C. Just ignore that. There's no use of reaching 290. No use. Okay, because almost all the, you know, all the councils and boards, they, they don't accept. Okay, C in any one of your uh, OET modules. They start accept the boards and, you know, <clears throat> the boards and, uh, the council they said accepting C plus onwards, 300 to 340, that means C plus, 350 to 450, B, 450 to 500, E, 350 to 450, that is our minimum target, because that is a magical level, that level is the level almost all the boards and councils accept. So 350 to 450, that means B. Minimum target, not the maximum target. Minimum target is B. So this is the scoring pattern as well. <clears throat> so far so clear, everybody? All right. 
Now we are going to discuss some scenarios, okay, to see uh, the, you know, the requirement of OIT, the level, the bank, like, you know, uh, uh, the points for different kinds of uh, uh, registrations from different English speaking countries are some, some scenarios or two or three scenarios. That's more than enough to give you an overall idea about uh, the importance of OET, OET test report for different kinds of council board registration. <clears throat> On screen, you can see a doctor scenario. The character in the scenario is a doctor. And that doctor has a plan to immigrate to UK, is going to UK to continue or start his medical career. Of course, UK is, a, is an English speaking country, no doubt on that. And, uh, and, and the point is, if a, a healthcare professional, if he wants to work anywhere in this world, registration is mandatory. Of course, in the UK, registration is much, much important. The registering body or council in the UK, which is GMC for doctors. GMC, General Medical Council Registration. And the process of General Medical Council Registration is known as PLAB exams. You need to undergo PLAB exams as a doctor. PLAB exam pathway, you know that the requirements are primary medical degree, of course you have it. The second clause is OETB 350 single sheet. That means without OETB 350 to 400, 450 level, minimum 350 is much, much, much needed if you apply for PLAB exam. Then the remaining part, you know that PLAB 1, then EPIC verification, PLAB 2, GMC registration, and then you know the process of that. Core training, so many, so many different things are there. But the language requirement is PLAB, sorry, OET, B, single sheet. Single sheet means one attempt. You are allowed to attempt the examination many times, but they just consider one attempt. And in that one attempt, any one attempt, okay, you can select, okay, this is my attempt. So in that attempt, they need to find all the four modules you are reaching B, that's it. You can't club it. The same doctor is going to Australia. The same doctor is going to Australia. That time it is AMC registration, Australian Medical Council registration, HPRA, different forms are there. Pathway, you know that primary medical degree, 12 months Indian chap, 12 months RMO, AMC, MCQ, then OETB language requirement is there. Then the, uh, the, that doctor has an another plan to go to Ireland. Plab one, press exam, epic verification. Of course, you can see that OETB, single sheet. Then New Zealand, the same thing, OETB, 350 single sheet. So that means doctors, UGPG, the program they select is different. The registration programs, they select it is different. Like some the undergraduates, they might go for uh, uh, PLAB exams. Then the, uh, like in the postgraduates, they go for okay other kind of registration exams. But OET is mandatory. I, English language proficiency is mandatory. It's not possible to say that, say that OET is mandatory. Our topic is OET. That's the reason why we say that OET is mandatory. But instead of OET, you can go for IELTS as well. Study many has IELTS training programs as well. <laughs> then why something and professionals they prefer OET is supposed to IELTS because of OET the medical professionals they find it is easy when it compared to IELTS it has no meaning that IELTS is a good and tough no but OET is easier people normally find uh, normally go for easier task why it is medical English IELTS is general English that's why scenario some nurses so nurses also going to English speaking country to start or continue their career. Nurses, you can see that. Now it's going to UK. They're going for NMC registration nursing midwifery council. So OET listening grade and speaking B, writing C plus, no problem. So some exemptions are there. They're, they're allowed to write two settings, six months. That means they can club the score. Nurse to New Zealand, the same. Nurse to Ireland, no clubbing, but three module B and one module C plus is okay. Nurse to Australia, all the four modules B, like doctors, but clubbing is possible, multiple settings. So that means like, you know, the same way dentist, uh, vets, you know, everybody, all the healthcare professionals, they attend OED examination for their registration. So what is OED? OED is a medical English test. Who attend them? Medical professionals. Why? 
the, just for registration and you know, like you know bit of uh, bit of uh, study programs as well. Clear. So far, so clear. You know, I don't get any response from your side. Like you know, if if it's okay, you, are, you you can't you know express your alls. Like you know, you just you know. Uh, respondents using some signs and all some thumbs up, thumbs down, something like that. Otherwise, it's very difficult. Okay, to uh, move to another topic. All right, fine. Thank you very much. Now, <clears throat> the next part of the introduction, next part of the orientation is to introduce you the training program, the packages, what we have at Study Medic as a part of empowering your medical education in order to reach 350 to 450, 500, 500 level in OET examination. First of all, Star Medic, we believe we follow seven factors. And it is quite applicable for all kinds of medical professionals when they approach us as a part of their OET preparation. The first part, the first point is assessment, preliminary or pre-assessment. That is quite important. As a trainer, as a, as a center, we want to make you reaching 450 or, four, or 500. If we want to make you reaching 500, first of all, we want to know where you are, what is your current level. At the same time, it is useful for you to understand what is your level. So that means the first step is to realize. A realization for you and us. What is your level? On the basis of that, we design, we tailor a program for you. Number two, the second one is trainers. After the meeting, after the first part, after the task, preliminary assessment, there is time for you, there is time for the center to introduce our trainers to you, or otherwise you can appoint our trainers as well. Of course, we have free sessions. And free session, the main reason behind the free session is what we are here with a good product. It's some kind of announcement. We have a good product, quite useful for you. Okay. So that kind of programs we have at the same time, some students, they need some sort of personal interaction, academic interaction with the trainers. Of course, there is a time for them. The third one is, okay, <clears throat> third one is design the attendance and larger steps, the kind of books, the number of practices, the number of sessions and the number of weeks they need to attend. The next one is homeworks. It's homework is not like, you know, uh, the primary or preliminary school students homework. It's a different one, some kind of uh, uh, social media activity. Then employer partnership. Charmaine has been partnered with the different kinds of medical organizations all around the world in terms of Registration, recruit, you know, job, so many different things. And finally, report. You'll be getting your weekly report on your performance of study medic as part of OIT program. And that report is quite important for you as well as us because we need to see, you know, there is any kind of progression, progressive uh, basis there or not. Those are the seven facts. Then the first training program, the first package is one month, 40 hours training program. One month program, 40 hours training program. Weekly, three days classes. Example, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Example, three days classes, each day, three hours. It starts from 6 to reaching 9 p.m. 6 to 7.30, 7.30 to 9 three hours a day, three days in a week. So total number of total hours in a week, nine. So that means in all alternative days, there are virtual activities using WhatsApp, Telegram, this kind of social media platforms, virtual activity, that's a very useful one. The second week, the same, three days, three days, nine hours total in a week. Third week also, total number of hours are 40. In those 40 hours, there are four kinds of sessions. The first one is CORE, C-O-R-E. It's orientation to each module. 
Today, I just I have just given you an overall idea about listening. But core is different. So one and a half session exclusively for listening, core listening. That kind of four core sessions are there. Four core sessions means, okay, four into one and a half, five, that means six hours out of 40. Core followed by action sessions, action plus. Action plus, in, in that session, you do a lot of activities with the mentor. Okay, that will help you. That is quite useful for you to start practicing mock with the trainer. So action plus sessions are eight. So that means total number of hours are tall. Then it's followed by preparation, practice plus. It's a mock with the trainer. Eight sessions, again, 12 hours. Then the last part, not, not last actually, the penultimate one is language for healthcare. That means grammar. Very important. Why do you sing that? What's the difference between how long have you had, how long have you, how long have you had, or how long have you had you had? There are differences. How long have you had, and how long had you had? We will learn that. Related clause, noun clause, connecting, sentences, so many different things. There are four sessions, that means six hours. Core sessions, six hours. Action, 12 hours. Practice, preparation, 12 hours. Grammar, six hours. That's been total 36 hours. Then one mock exam, that is four hours, totally 40 hours. 12 hours, 12 hours. 12 days, 12, 12 days. And the 13th day, mock exam day. So total number of hours are 40. One month program. So 40 hours, so over a period of four weeks, what means one month program? 40 taught hours, virtual activity hours are plenty, along with homework completion, homework activities as well. We call it accelerate. That's, that's our main flagship program. Along with that, we have self-study. We have a wonderfully maintained library. You can use that. Self-study, self-preparation. We have a, a, a training program. It's exclusively for mocks and assessments. Some students, they don't want to, they have no time to attend, like, you know, the 40 hours. So they just need more. Maybe they have already attended OET. They just need to uh, check if there any improvement or not. It's all 20 hours and all. 10 hours more can assessment. And finally, OET one-to-one. -one. Some students, they need one-on-one. -on -one. It's a 20 hours training program. Let's see all the packages. Test preparation at study Malik. We already discussed the seven factors. Accurate assessment of starting level preliminary. Sorry. Preliminary assessment, expert teachers, such an end, formal completion, target the material, employer partnership, and detail management information. We already discussed that one. This is our flagship program, 40 hours training program, in school, online, hybrid. The same 40 hours program, you can visit the center, online, hybrid. So we already discussed this one. Then the second one is one-to-one, -one. instead of 40, 20 hours balance, everything is same, in school, online, hybrid. Sal Sari, I told you, it's 20 hours. Then oh, mocks and assessment, mocks and assessment, it's uh, 10 hours. The most important thing, the main attraction of our training program, it is OET guarantee. Guarantee, that was very important and people always asking uh, for guarantee when they buy something. When they look for something to buy, they're always asking, uh, they're always demanding a guarantee. Of course, the OET uh, students, uh, they ask us, okay, they ask us, you know, they, we always ask guarantee. And we have a guarantee program, actually. It's 100% testable. It's not any kind of uh, any kind of uh, marketing tool. It's a 100% testable OET guarantee. What is that? Let me explain. Maybe you enroll for a 40 hours, four weeks program. 40 hours, four weeks program. 
you did the preliminary assessment test everything you are a good student in terms of attendance in terms of activities in terms of cooperation in terms of do everything see unfortunately you attended the test and you couldn't reach the level you expected to reach you were expecting to reach b for all the four modules but you were, but you reached at okay said a level that that level is not not okay for gmc registration platform grant so you need to reset so you are a good student i told you so that time we will never leave you alone we will be with you until you do it that means you will be given that point sir mary gives you the same program that means four hours four, four weeks 40 hours program the same program absolutely free for you no hidden charges nothing that is all you to guarantee quite sure our 40 hour training program is okay but still some people they struggle to reach that level for them we never leave them at all we never leave them like an okay just had in the test okay let uh, let them go and try with other people or something no we want you to reach the way through sari merit or ye whatever so that is oit a guarantee so that's another attraction of our training program these are the main things we have online offline hybrid programs we have a structured program the program led by very good professionals with language expertise it's a combination it's a combination of medical professionals and language experts they are the one developing uh, the activities lessons materials and many more those are quite important for the attendees it's a part of their preparation in order to reach place to be uh, for all the four modules at oit examination let's see <clears throat> and uh, i'm just introducing a sample schedule this is the one month program our our current program is this one this is the current program so date 12 to june that means today 8 pm in instant time introduction on and off hour it could be two tomorrow 13th to june 6 pm to 7 to 9 pm two session session number 1 and 2 core lesson writing and action plus writing you will see tomorrow what is core and what is action plus then 14th group activity 15th direct 16th 17th group activity 18th direct 20 22 24 26 28 30 okay direct session start hours in between group activities including core action practice and mock language for health care and mock this is a this is a perfectly tailored program hope it could be useful uh, for you, for all of you uh, to crack your oit examination first time the first attempt itself all right so we have discussed a lot almost everything we discussed almost everything we touched certain areas we missed or not actually not if you find some errors were mess it's a time for you to ask me like you know you find you know if you want some kind of clarification on that maybe you have thought something about oit anything it's a two or three minutes time for you uh, to raise your questions if you have time for you if you can't ask questions like you know maybe you are at work or whatever you can just text your questions as message anybody and anybody no, no more questions anybody any questions all right no problem okay now the final part of this introduction so just want to like you know introduce you a part of 
uh, training actually. It's not an overview. There's a question, how can I do better in speaking? All right, fine. Question from Manira Sardar. The message uh, question is, how can I do better in speaking and listening part? For example, speaking, speaking the best. Practice for improving your speaking is ask questions. Don't just answer the questions. That's not the only tool. Actually, the most, most useful tool is ask questions, subcontinent people, including me. When you feel I'm poor in English speaking, that means, okay, we are poor in terms of asking questions. You just record your conversation. You just record a conversation uh, when and where you become a part of that. <clears throat> of course, I know that there is another question. Just wait, let me finish this. Asking questions. The continent people, they're always waiting for us to ask questions. Don't wait for our others to ask us questions. You create your own questions. Medical professionals, they use different formulas, different structures to ask questions. So if you want to improve your speaking, concentrate on asking questions. There's no meaning that that's the only tool. No, that's one of the most important tools. Listening. Listening, anticipation is much important. Of course, accent is a strong part in listening. Regular practice. Regular practice is much needed to improve listening. There are some other, uh, it's not possible to say technique. There are some other uh, the correct ways are there. We will see in our training. Okay. Another question. How many years or it? Two years. Two years validity. Okay, if you if you're gonna write or it write more at the moment. The next two years that is valid that means in two years we can use this one for any kind of register okay. now i'm just going to introduce you a part of speaking and also one of our fellow members asking me marina Sudra asking me how to improve speaking so let's see speaking asking questions <laughs> why do we ask questions okay why do we ask questions we ask questions means we are searching information. Question means searching information. What's your name? My name is Veni Davelu. That means I was searching for information. Where what information? Veni this name. What's your name? Where do you come from? I come from such and such area. Do you like do you enjoy music? So that kind of information. So asking question means gathering information. So answering question means giving information. As a human being, we can't live, we can't survive gathering and giving information. No one can only gather information. If there is no one giving information, then no one can gather information. So gathering and giving information. That activity is known as asking questions and answering questions. Asking questions is gathering information. Answering questions means giving information. You all are healthcare professionals. You just think about the role of giving and gathering information at, at work. As a doctor, they gather information they give information. It's a part of treatment. With the examination also saying how effectively you gather information and you give information, especially in speaking. Role play, it's, a, it's an act of gathering and giving information. To gather information, you need to ask questions. I just want to give you an overall idea. It's not a detailed one. To, you need to ask questions. And those questions are categorized into two, divided into two. You ask questions and I ask questions. And we both can ask a different, different questions or a different questions on different topics. But whatever the topics you ask questions on, 
the questions are divided into two and those questions are open questions and closed questions so that means there are only two kinds of questions in this world open questions and closed questions as a doctor as a nurse as a physiotherapist you must practice how to ask how to use open and closed questions what do you mean by open question open question always starts with a functional verb always not every time mostly that means open question explain could you please explain what exactly happened explain is a functional verb could you please tell me could you please elaborate okay your food habit could you please could you please elaborate that means there are two multiple uh, two functional verbs could and elaborate so open questions comes up with functional verb and it demands big answers explanation closed to questions are always catered with short answers yes no something like that. number year something in a conversation open questions are the inaugural part of a conversation closed to questions in between so the people they ask open questions at the beginning of the conversation followed by closed to questions okay on screen medical conversation you can see there is a triangle on screen it's a triangle and you can see three points noted over there a setting character topic we already discussed setting is medical medical setting that means hospital characters are medical professionals that means the patients are medical professionals topic is medical disease treatment whatever whatever information gathering and information giving in this triangle what is going on information gathering and information giving information gathering means asking questions if you want to ask a question you have to you must be careful about the content what you ask language the grammar you use the structure that means that the questions are structure question is not just you know abandoned it's not solo questions we seldom use we always use a, a group of questions that means the structure you can see on screen uh, 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 an old guy with a doctor you can see from their uh, from their appearance you can see that the, the this doctor gathering information from the patient because the patient mentioned he has been experiencing something something the doctor he wants information gathering on screen you can see a sample conversation the doctor healthcare professional started the conversation with a statement that you you mentioned that you have been you've been experiencing difficulty of breathing can you tell me what makes it ose an open question the patient answering any sort of difficulty causes me to have some shortness of breath even it's something as simple as making breakfast this morning again next question okay accepting can you tell me anything that makes it feel better feel that makes it feels better then sound um that means it's it's not a word but you know a role play you can use this kind of sounds because it's a part and parcel of communication sitting upright in a chair seems to help okay and how would you describe that it's it's more like i just can't catch my breath so you can see that the blue letters are questions open and close and what are the open and close you can see we already discussed the closed and open so here the blue letters are open and the two are two red ones are closed where were you when it began where were you grammar you know Well, were you simple past statement when it begin? Not sorry, begin not began when it 
bikin. I was in bed sleeping and I woke me up something like that and it woke me up. Then another oh, close one is have you used anything to treat medication? Any medication? So open and closed. We will have a detailed session on this. That time you get an idea. This is just an introduction. You can see <clears throat> the healthcare professionals they use they practice different formulas uh, to structure their questions. And you can I'm just introducing a formula. That formula is PQRST. PQRST formula is palliative, provocative, P. Quantity, quality, region, severity, timing, and free time. You know, when you interrogate the condition of a patient, the PQRST is quite applicable. You can't find any, any patient with any condition without anything palliative and provocative. Quantity and quality, region, severity, timing, because this PQRST is the, is the one creating the problem. So when you use PQRST, it means you are, you are mainly you are interrogating what causes, what is the reason, the history, something like that. Open question, close to question, PQRST format there. Palliative provocative, can you tell me anything that makes it feel better? It's palliative or provocative. Can you describe how bad it feels, quantity, quality? Region, where, where, where do you feel? Feel the pain. Severity, how would you rate the difficulty of breathing? Timing treating, can you tell me when this began? So it has no meaning that this, these are the only questions applicable over there. No. But it's, it's a formula. That's another one. So we have discussed OET, and we just, I just introduced a, a tiny part of preparation as well. These are the main things about it. So time for question and answers. Please make questions about OET language. If you want to compare any, ex any other examinations, any confusions you have, this is the time for you, 10 minutes time. You may please use this time to raise your questions. The time for you. Hello. Time for you to ask questions, raise your questions. No questions? Marina, any questions? All right, we've been there for you as well. Jayadan, tell you when everything is fine, huh? Okay, fine. All right, if, if, if I, it's okay, it's wrong. okay, informative. Thank you very much for attending the session. Thank you very much for everybody. Thank you once again. Thank you very much for. <coughs> Uh, you're spending time to attend the session, almost one and a half hour. <clears throat> I wish you all the very best, okay, for uh, OIT, not just OIT, your all your future exams. I know that you've been uh, preparing for different kinds of medical examinations as a part of registration. OIT is, uh, is, is a part of that. Of course, you have to go with this one as well. Uh, I really wish you know you you guys can crack all the examination from B or A in your first item for itself. Once again, thank you. Thank you very much for attending the session. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Have and, a good night. Yeah, and this and this user Vinita, you can stay back. Uh, you can have a one-to-one -one discussion. Yeah, if anyone, if anyone wants, you know, to uh, any kind of one-to-one -one discussion, if you want, please stay. Thank you very much. Have a good night.
Uh, yeah. Hi, Jomi. I think uh, uh, this candidate, uh, she has already attended. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she's, uh, she's in UAE. Uh, so, she's in UAE. She's in UAE. She's in ഹോസ്പിറ്റൽ സർ hospital hospital right are you at work now no no my duty finished uh, it was free now. i am i am free now okay please turn on your camera if possible yes sure is now free duty or is it office course have you attended sir yes i have attended oit unfortunately three times and so <laughs> sorry to say that sorry to say that uh, the last attempt was uh, march 25th i cleared uh, speaking and writing b i got b score but uh, reading and listening a c plus 300 300 are so, you just you just reached the c plus right yes sir so okay. this is my uh, concern because uh, three times Uh, reading and listening is uh, giving me problem uh, maybe time management or i am not understanding the uh, i am struggling to uh, uh, manage the time and uh, you know uh, the comprehension as you uh, mentioned uh, the understanding of the uh, context or uh, you know, the people always uh, uh, always say that you know it's quite difficult for me to uh, to manage the time so many different things what's the real real reason you know that like you know um, see in in medical the last three parts there are three texts three articles actually there so almost you know five to seven paragraphs almost 750 to 750 to 900 words and you can see that in each para <coughs> three sentences carrying almost 100 words the first sentence carrying 15 the second and third sentence carrying the remaining that means what the second and third sentences are compound complex the reason why like you know the initial part of the paragraph you understand the second and third sentence is it's very difficult to understand because it's compound complex so what do you need to if you want to improve your score in reading if you want to make it consistent maybe sometimes you know you might reach 300 350 300 400 that's luck because it's a objective type question and if you want to your performance consistent in reading you need to work on compound complex sentences then you can see after that you can see the magic of understanding the sentences that saves you a lot of time than reading on be an issue before that i just want to tell you you need to work on that there's no point of getting the material there's no point of uh, buying a highly exclusive material from amazon no use you need to work on compound complex sentences clear we need that yes that's only yes, thing okay no you don't need to read a lot you are just wasting your time if you if you if you find two hours or three hours a day reading of course that's beautiful but at the same time you need to you need to work on compound complex sentences then go for three or four hours reading at an no problem clear okay. don't waste your time if you spend time for oet or ielts whatever whatever so you you need to you need to make sure you are spending your time in the right way most of the people they spend their time in a wrong way clear yeah, that's the reason but there is no improvement okay Hi. so this is the for you and to know the awareness of compound complex sentences automatically okay indirectly developing your listening skill as well that is very important oit is not nursing exam oit is not a medical exam oit is a language exam of course i told you in this program, medical english so language with the flavor of sympathy and empathy but it's reading and listening reading of listening is okay 
but reading it's a bit more academic especially part c clear yes okay let's see this time. bit of uh, grammar practice bit of sentence practice bit, bit of uh, because i told our materials our lesson plans are designed not just by a language expert not just by a medical professional a collaboration a mix of medical and language expertise you can see that that you can find it there there's no point of you know buying a lot of books and all so work on compound complex structure this time you will get it don't worry okay. Okay, okay. because this is if you, if you worked the same thing in your last uh, appearance like in before your last appearance definitely you'd have uh, you'd have reached that level quite early you don't need to wait for three or four attempts but anyway it's done already you know this time we can make it uh, yeah. sir can i ask you one more question uh, if next attempt can i sit only for uh, writing and uh, sorry yeah. reading and listening it allows you to set uh, individual modules but the nmc don't accept it right and which country you are going to uh actually my preference was ireland but now what is your preference uh, but still until now i did not reach the desired score that's why i can uh, i confused now actually which uh, uk or ireland either uk or ireland is almost same na it's almost same like you know so ireland three modules we have one c plus uk also the same but that uh, that thing is a writing c plus because it's almost yeah. same and it is not possible for ireland that's the main thing but in my opinion if you reach uh, 3b and one c plus for writing instead of uk and ireland you just go to new zealand uh, sir uh, new zealand uh, because i am uh, not a bsc nurse generally oh, right. yeah. then ireland and uk is the only option otherwise what do you need to do you can do ihm program it's an online program ihm program that's a uh, bridging program it's online program you can do it from dubai itself uh, uae itself it's not uh, okay but leave it go for ireland or uk and once you reach there you now you can do the but in my opinion reading this is the most important thing you know this a, you need to work on that yeah. that's the only thing only possible way there's no point of just wasting your time Okay, instead of just attending, I work on this. Then I attend. Ah, yeah. okay, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. So you just like so. Don't worry. This time we will make it. Don't worry about it because you already cleared two modules and two modules we can make it. Uh, then your uh, option is uh, Ireland or UK. Don't worry about it. And the scheduling, the pattern, everything you just discussed with Mr. Bibin. Bibin will help you to uh, arrange your sessions and all. Okay, arrange your sessions and everything. Okay. You know, so help you uh, okay. attend the sessions at the earliest, and we can a uh, maximum in four weeks program. In four weeks time, you will be able to uh, attend your exam as well. You can, you know, if you if you start by today or tomorrow or tomorrow or day after tomorrow, definitely you'll be able to attend this examination. uh by uh, by by the beginning of next month that means the next month the first examination we will go for writing that one clear uh july 8 and july 22 there is two uh, date is available next month so can i choose a, i don't know which one i have to choose means uh, 8 yeah. or 22 because i need it because i need an uh, mid three weeks that's enough three or four weeks okay. but you attend the session back to back right yeah that's very important maybe okay so okay 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 Okay, okay sure sir thank you so much thank you very much thank you yeah thanks you so much i'll connect you over one to one and we'll discuss hmm? okay so that's okay thank you ma'am oh it's done can you leave already illa in the recording you can ഇന്ന് നാളെ പോരുള്ളൂ നാളെ പോരുള്ളൂ നാളെ 
അതിലെല്ലാ പാട്ടും കവർ ചെയ്യണോ അവർക്ക് ഇതിന് മാത്രം അതായത് റീഡിങ് മാത്രം മതി എന്നാണ് അവർ പറയണെങ്കിൽ ടു ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ഒന്നുകിൽ വൺ ടു വൺ സെലക്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ പറയണം അതല്ലെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങൾ ഇതിന്റെ റീഡിങ്ങിന്റെ സെഷൻസിൽ മാത്രം നിന്നാൽ മതി അപ്പൊ ഒരു കാര്യം ചെയ്താൽ അങ്ങനെ വരുമ്പോൾ ട്രെയിനർ ആയിട്ട് ഒന്നുകൂടെ ഞാൻ മീറ്റ് ചെയ്യിപ്പിക്കാം കണ്ടു പിന്നെ ഞാനൊരു പ്ലാൻ ആണ് കൊടുക്കാം ായിട്ട് ഒപ്ഷൻ എടുക്കാമല്ല ശരിയാണ്